Welcome to The Boat Show, I'm Bill Hackett. Today we're lucky enough to check out the latest Sunseeker, brand new right here in the United States, it's the Predator 75. And what I love about this boat is the profile view. It's absolutely dead sexy, very sporty. Walk along with me and let's see what she's all about. How about the symmetrical design of this aft end? It's beautiful curved shape, twin steps up. It's absolutely artistic. So we have a hydraulic platform with a thousand pound lift. We have a tender garage that holds a Williams 345 jet boat. Then we have crew quarter access right here. So you can crew this boat or handle it by yourself, but you have the option. Right here, we have a massive aft facing sun pad. So below it, we have storage for your sea bobs. And then we have a beautiful U-shaped seating here so you can even bring extra guests on board. On top of that, the table is high, low, electrically actuated. It can be a nice little cocktail table. It can be unfolded, slid out, and it can become a full aft uh, alfresco dining experience for you. But it's fully carbon fiber. It's eye popping. Then we have a shade which extends out over the back and it has carbon fiber accents as well. So it covers the whole aft end so everybody can relax and dine in comfort. On the port side, we have a port side docking station. You also have a nice little area to tuck in lines or my pet peeve, put on everybody's shoes. You don't want anybody wearing shoes on board and a nice little area for that. Just next to that or adjacent to that is the summer kitchen. So we have an ice maker, a refrigerator. Then you have a nice little Kenyan grill so you can throw that fresh catch on there and cook everything up. This is a very nice feature about this boat. So this U-shaped settee right here, there's an access point. I can remove, remove these two cushions. This seat slides forward and now I have access forward to the bow of the boat on the starboard side as well. If you love the sun, come on up to the bow of this Predator 75. We have access on both the port and starboard side. And again, we have fantastic stainless steel rails at the perfect height to make everybody safe on board. And you get up here and you can relax. We have a nice little sitting area. You can relax with six of your friends. And we have two coolers up here in case you need a little glass of water or anything else you might need. Then forward to that, we have a sun lounger. You can get three people up there and relax. And of course, you can throw the bimini up to catch some shade as well. So we have all one level living here on this beautiful Predator 75. No transition as we step inside and we keep in contact for the interior guests to our exterior guests. One of the most fantastic things about this boat is the amount of glazings. I have 360 degrees of view on this boat, whether I'm handling her or whether I'm a guest just enjoying the view. All right, boating enthusiasts, do I have a special one for you? The space between the cockpit and the salon is separated by this fascinating door, so well engineered. All I have to do is press a button and the door is gonna be elevated from down below the door and the window, and it'll come up to the full position and then I can actuate the door closed. All this tremendous glass and all this natural light, we also have beautiful headboard lighting above and an art deco sense, absolutely beautiful. Look at this lounging area, beautiful place to sit here in, in the salon and enjoy the fantastic view and all your dress. We also have a TV which pops up out of the port side and we have storage below. We also have extra refrigeration in here as well if you need a cool drink to relax. One of my favorite features on this boat is right overhead. We have a sunroof that is the full size of the cabin itself. It's carbon fiber and it's massive. So I can let a lot of fresh air in and it's the full width of the cabin itself. Really eye popping. It lets a lot of natural light in or the fresh breeze. Stepping down below into this galley area, 
one of the nicest features has to be the natural light coming in down from the windshield and the sunroof and it allows you to see all the beautiful materials down here the silver oak floors the calcutta gold quartz the finishes with the suede and the leather and the metallic work and the mirrors and the lights in here is absolutely eye-popping including the carbon fiber handrails and all the carbon fiber accents all the creature comforts are at hand for you we have a dishwasher on board we have a induction four burner stove from Miele, Miele appliances. We also have a full standing refrigerator freezer set up, storage amidships, how, whatever you need to do while you're under passage, you have plenty of storage. The dining area in the galley is exceptional. It's got a carbon fiber table, but honestly speaking, this is a great hangout place for kids because it's their own little area, it can be their nook, has a nice little TV, everything you need for them to hang out and have their own little space. And of course, we have a shared day head right at hand. The owner is so well taken care of by Sunseeker. First and foremost, we have 17 feet, eight inches of beam, and it's all right here. Then we have this tremendous amount of glass on both the port and starboard side and the beautiful overhead lighting. All the materials are beautiful and well lit. So we have a nod to the past Sunseeker range right here. Of course, we got the logo, it's inlaid with carbon fiber, backlit, gotta love the suede, island style bed. And then we have storage, so when you're out on passage, you have everything you need while you're at sea. You also have a cosmetic slash desk combination, fully en suite. The materials are absolutely beautiful on there. Your guests are very well taken care of. The VIP forward island style bed. Again, we have a TV, a cosmetic desk station, fully en suite. And the accoutrements on here are beautiful and super well lit. The third guest cabin is a midship. And right now it's set up in a twin format, but you can push those beds together manually for a nice, full, comfortable bed. The Predator 75 is very sharp and sporty looking, but it looks out for all the guests on board because cruising is a big part of that. But the rest of your guests can be, enjoy the cruising experience with this L-shaped couch up here. All right, let's talk about this boat in detail. First of all, it's 75 feet. So it's kind of like a hybrid between is it owner operator or do you get a captain? So we have a crew of two on board so you can choose what works for you. You can always have a captain on the weekend, by the way, but at the helm, very comfortable up here. I don't really feel like I'm in, uh, at the wheel of a 75 foot vessel in some ways because it's very comfortable up here. Great visibility with 360 degree views for the captain is the most important thing because I can check my rear on both the port and starboard side unobstructed. The other thing, we have all our telemetry at hand. I have twin 16 inch Garmin's right here. Keeps everything, whether you're chart plotter, uh, whatever else you need at hand. The boat comes with 1,268 gallons of fuel capacity. We have a range of 21 knots of about 300 30 nautical miles, but really that's variable depending on how you use the boat, of course. So this boat is powered by twin 1900 horsepower man engines. Man, V12, you can feel the power in this boat and it's gonna giddy up and go for sure. It's not underpowered with the 1900s in it. So this beauty has a length overall of 75 feet, eight inches and a beam of 17 feet, eight inches long. And from the side, she's dead sexy. Before we start putting the hammer down on this boat, what you should know is it has side power fin stabilizations. So those fins go out while we're underway and it'll take all that list away when we put it into a curve and keep the boat nicely on point. 
So whether you're a captain or you're an owner operator, you're gonna find this a very beautifully laid out home station here. Very ergonomically designed. I got my bow and stern thrusters right at hand. All my telemetry, including the telemetry for those man engines right here. So today we're taking our first spin and I'm gonna stand up the whole way. But if you're under a long passage, we have two very comfortable bucket seats. What's most important about that is they're fully actuated both high, low, forward, and back, so you can get comfortable, put it on autopilot, and relax in a nice, comfortable, safe seat. And check out that Sunseeker logo. Beautiful. So of course, this vessel is built in Poole, England. So you know Sunseeker, renowned for their seaworthiness. We have a watertight door access forward, and the doors in the aft end are watertight. This is a British boat in every way, shape, or form. One thing I want to mention, Sunseeker has proprietary software system, the CM8 system, which keeps control of all your pumps and system right up here at the helm easy to manage right here at your fingertips. Now, let's talk about this boat a little more in detail. All right, 75 feet, 103,000 pounds. And what's the best part of that? Let me show you right here. When I put the hammer down, here we go. Right, 103,000 pounds. But well, we're gonna let it rip. Boom, gets right up out of the water. Man, these 1900 horsepower engines I'm, we're flying right now, right out of the hole. I'm going 30 knots already. This is a sport yacht. I love it. Very sporty looking, but guess what? Very sporty acting. Again, 34th. Here we go. Got her pinned now. Prime it up. Let me uh, trim it up a little bit. 34 and a half knots. We're going 35 knots right now. You know what that means, Americans? 40 miles an hour, that's right. 75 feet just chewing up this water. Absolutely cutting through it. The fin stabilization is on point. We have nice, comfortable ride right here. Let's put it in a turn. Let's go to the port. Handles no problem. Honestly, because of the fin stabilizers, those wings are out. I got almost no list to this boat. Let's bring her back around. And again, we're at top speed. We're going 33 knots right now. No problem. Got a little bit of uh, rain on the windshield. Great conditions here in South Florida. I'm in a full end turn right now. Not listing at all. Love it. All right, so we need to talk. Let me bring it down a little bit. 75 feet, owner, operator, captain, check, check. Either way you wanna run it. It gets out of the water like nobody's business. It's sporty looking, it's sporty acting. What you need to do is go see your local dealer. Mine is one water here in South Florida. If not, go see Sunseeker, step aboard this beautiful 75 foot Predator absolutely gorgeous but it performs like a champ